I'm going to move my yarn stash with me. <laughs> While it's been nice having it in the closet, out of the way, I want to look at it. Because if I look at it, then I know what I have, and then I can get ideas on stash busting, and it's time for it to move. And I know the perfect place for it. To this nice blank wall in my room. <laughs> um, over in this corner is where I usually sit and play with yarn. You are currently sitting on my bed, and this is a window. So this is a nice big area. This will fit both cubbies. Um, probably even put something else in this corner later if I really want. <laughs> the dog says hi. And so the plan is, hi hey, baby. Um, the plan is uh, put the cubbies right here, <laughs> side by side, and then um, on top, get some hooks for the cords for my interchangeable needles. Oh, my Swift and my ball winder. They might still live in the closet. I haven't quite decided yet. Or they could live in the corner here next to the really ugly curtains that I didn't pick because they came with the house. Um, yeah, so... That's our goal for today is at least start the moving of the yarn, <laughs> um, maybe finish it. We'll see how far I get done. No, we'll see how far I get. Um, yeah, so first I'm going to shower because this is post dog walk and I smell like bug spray and I don't want to keep smelling like bug spray. So... I'm gonna go do that, and then we'll meet you back in the closet looking at yarn. I no longer smell like bug spray, yay! Okay, so it is now time to move the yarn. Um, thinking I'll go top to bottom, because that'll be easier. Move this and all the other little notions and stuff, and then we'll go cubby by cubby, and then move the cubbies, and then put everything back. Sounds like a good plan. And let's not forget my corner of yarn that I have no idea what to do with. And stuffing. And my bag full of bags. Everybody has one of those, right? And I'm not talking grocery bags, I'm talking about a tote bag filled with other tote bags. Let's move stuff. size reference, I have a king size bed. A lot of yarn. <laughs> anyway, um, I have, I have some yarn here. Um, it's bigger than some yarn stashes that I've seen and it's not as big as others. So I'm a happy medium. Um, anyway, yeah, time to get the cubbies out here and put the yarn away. What do we think? I think it'll work. Cubbies. Yarn. Yes, all of this 
is going to fit in there. We can do this. And yes, I have a system. I'll show you when it's put back together. having it over here. Um, my husband likes it and the teenager approves. So I think we did good. Let me take you on a tour. All right. So it is, there is a system. Okay. It's by yarn weight. So here I've got lace and fingering, um, sport and DK, and then the rest of it from here all the way to here is worsted weight by Rainbow Order um, until you get over to this one and I really didn't want to move this cubby so I just moved these ones up and the rest of them are down there um, so it's Rainbow Order, worsted weight, then this one is still worsted weight, but it's my variegated colors. So those are all together. Uh, this one is worsted weight, but it's tweed. This is all the cotton yarns, so they are all together. Now these two and these four are worsted weight, but since there's six of them, they're separated. Um, so these ones are bulky. These are bulky, um, but they are really very fuzzy. They're so cool. So I've got two cubbies of those. And then these last two over here are the Karen and Pantone, uh, that were discontinued a few years ago, which makes me really sad because that yarn is so super soft. And then that corner has about 11 bags or so with patterns and the corresponding yarn to make those patterns. I have no chill. <laughs> anyway, and then up here, um, this is the Aunt Lydia's thread and a cotton lace weight that I have no idea what to do with. These yarns came in a mystery box from Lion Brand. Um, I know what I want to do with this one. I think I need one more. I'm not sure. So I might have to get another color of that. And this is a faux fur, but it's Smurf Blue. So if anyone has an idea on what to do with faux fur Smurf Blue yarn, let me know. Um, that's a cotton blend. And then we have box of remnants. Um, these are left over from patterns projects that I did. Uh, these really need to be separated, but that's another time. Um, I've got my blocking pins, stitch markers, beads, counter stitch markers. These fun things are from Expression Fiber Arts. They're these pins. These come and go. Um, I love them. Crochet hooks in here. Pom-pom makers. I really don't like those. 
some needles and then I got extra tips or something. All right, then here's my interchangeables. These are Knitter's Pride. These ones are my favorites because I like the shorter needle. I don't like the longer ones. Um, these ones are also Knitter's Pride. I use these for when I'm knitting back and forth or if I'm going in the round but not if it's larger than a 16 inch cable. And then this cool binder has all of my DPNs in it. Then down here, my blocking mats and my basket full of whips. Yeah, and that's, yeah. Um, here's my chair where I mostly play with yarn. Um, current, well, one of the current whips, it is a highly specific logo. It's for our mountain biking team and a tote box full of blankets serves as my quote unquote table. I love this cup. Yeah, that's amazing. Over here, here's my knitting chair. Over here, I've got my pattern book. So Harry Potter, Star Wars, uh, Woolen Creatures, Color Work Sock. This was a Christmas present to myself. Uh, crochet. I have two more of these around here somewhere. Uh, Bernadette Banner, Shetland Lace, Jane Austen Embroidery. Sewing for curtains or something. Make sweater designs. Now, this entire binder is patterns from Expression Fiber Arts. Every single one. And it's full, and I need another one. This one is from other sources, so Your Inspirations, uh, Ravelry, Lion Brand, and some Etsy uh, paint by stickers, courtesy of my eight-year-old. And this is my project notebook. I don't like using Ravelry, so I use this instead. I'm Rifle Paper Company. And I write down the name of the pattern, where it's from, when I started, when I finished, if I'm timing it, the yarn, and any notes. And then I'll put up in the corner if it's knit or crochet, uh, which is just a K or a C. And this is every single project that I have started this year. And we are this far into the notebook. So I've, I've made quite a few. Um, I like doing this. I like having a physical representation of my projects because I, I don't like using Ravelry for that. I would much rather have the physical pattern and it physically written down in a notebook as you can see by my printed patterns. I think it turned out amazing. Now I will need some hooks or something for above on the wall for the cords for my interchangeables because I don't like to store them rolled up because when I use them then they twist so I'd rather just let gravity do the work for me and have them constantly in a u-shape um, yeah I think we're good now I just need to make stuff because now I can see my pretty yarn I think it's time for some fall mitts.